Depending on the security role that has been assigned to you, it's possible to modify a form with Dynamics 365 directly in the system form. As shown on your screen, you only need to click on the form button. If you don't see this button, it's because you don't have the security credentials to make those changes. If you want this option, you need to ask your CRM Dynamics 365 administrator. We always recommend making your modification using a solution. If you want to make the changes directly to the form from the form option, you can lose track of who customized the form and above all, it can be difficult for you to distinguish out-of-the-box system forms from those that you've modified. To see how to create a solution, check out our video on how to create a solution with Microsoft Dynamics 365 that you can find here. To ensure your understanding of it, here's the solution editor interface. Point 1 informs us that we are in the Event Manager solution. Point 2 informs us that inside the Event Manager solution we can find the account, contact, lead and opportunity entities. Point 3 shows us the form that we can find in the account entity. Point 4 shows us the main form name account that you can visualize by double clicking on it. Point 5 allows us to create a new form in the account entity. The header includes a maximum of four fields. You can also find the name of the record in the header of the form. In this header, you will also find the name of the account record. As you can see on the screen, the name of the account record is a datum corporation sample. The footer also includes a maximum of four fields. All the fields are placed at the bottom of the form. It's important to note that these fields cannot be modified. They are in read-only mode and the footer follows the scrolling of the form. By adding no fields, the footer won't be included on the form. The navigation includes the list of entities linked to your form. The form body includes tabs, sections, fields, and other components of your form. The previous section showed the different parts of a form. Now let's see how these sections can be incorporated in the form editor. Point number one represent the header of the form. Point number two represent the footer of the form. Point number three represent the navigation portion of the form. Point number four represent the body of the form. Point number five represent the available fields that you can add to the form. Point number six represent a form browser that allows you to go directly to the portion of the form that you want to edit. Header, footer, navigation and body. When you want to create or modify a form, it's important to follow the following steps. First, save your modifications. Publish your form. If you don't publish it, users won't be able to see the modifications you've made or even see the form that you've created. This applies to any customization that you make in a solution. If you don't publish the customization, the users won't be able to see them in your Dynamics 365 CRM. If you are done with your customizations, you can click on the Save and Close button. The option Save As allows you to clone or create a copy of the form by giving it a different name. In a form, you have the ability to add tabs, sections, columns, subgrids, spacing, web resources, Bing Maps, etc. What you see currently on the screen is the body of the form. The summary represents a tab in the form. It's important to note that when you minimize a tab in the form editor, it will also be minimized in your CRM. In this tab, you can find three different columns. Here you can see different sections per column. In a section, you find fields. In the account information section, they are the account name, phone, fax, website, parent account, and the ticker symbol fields. To conclude, our form will be efficient if you have defined the following questions. Who will use this form? What are its functions? Where does the save information come from? What does the user need to do in this form? What information should be mandatory, recommended, or optional?